That's a fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish right there. Holy dude. Hey, this is way All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is August 24th, 2021. Summer is coming to a wrap here quickly this year, but I'm staying local, not going away to college. Staying local this year, and my favorite part about this video, showing off my brand new toy. Check it out, brand new 20, well, not brand new. Lightly used 2019 Yamaha EX Sport. Awesome wave runner, love the colors on this. Built this custom cooler fishing rack last year for my uh, uncle's wave runner that I took out. But this year, working 80 hours a week, was able to save up enough money to buy this and have some money left over. Fortunately, obviously, you don't wanna go balling out on a jet ski for no reason. But I'm so stoked today because even though the fishing may not be spectacular, gonna be heading out to one of the inshore reefs here off of Brigantine. Don't know which one I'm gonna hit up yet. I'm probably gonna stick it close and then we'll see how much gas I have left. But this baby is pumped full of gas, all 16 gallons. I should have a 50, 60 mile range. Hopefully I'm not gonna push it that hard though. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. But I'm just so, so excited. I was driving out to the spot and I figured I just had to beach the wave runner and show it off for you. So here we are, cooler rack all outfit. I got a golf back there, ice shug for our fish, two rods, got plenty of tackle in my backpack over here. So. Without further ado, guys, let's just get ripping. We gotta go through this precarious inlet. This is a inlet known as Wreck Inlet. We're gonna have to slowly go through that inlet and try not to get too wet. But the jet ski, it's high tide. I should be all right my first time attempting this, so. I'm gonna throw on the GoPro. Stay tuned, guys. Let's go send it. Let's go catch some friggin' fish. guys got a quick idea i'm seeing a lot of fish up up top like hound fish and whatnot so i've got about half a mile till i get to the uh to the reef so what i'm gonna do i brought out one of these fancy clark spoon trolling rigs I'm gonna drop this down the water seems real clear I'm just gonna drop it down and troll slowly till i get to the reef but i'm seeing a good amount of life and you never know there could be spanish mackerel at least some bluefish out here So we're gonna troll about seven miles an hour pretty fast to try to key in on those Spanish. But hopefully we catch something. I'm seeing a lot of bait and a lot of fish at the surface. So we're gonna troll over to the reef. It's about our half mile away and we'll see what happens. Out, guys, a shark right there. Shark literally right there. Check that thing out. Check that shark out right there. Wow. Well, guys, I give about a half an hour trolling. No luck. It's 12 o'clock now. I started trolling about 11:30, and we don't have a single bite. The water is so clear, though. There's jellyfish right there. Seeing, saw a lot of life, a lot of fish up top. Saw a shark just basking in the sun. I mean, I think the one reason why I'm not catching anything is because I have a solo Clark spoon. If I had more like a school presentation with multiple of them, I think I would do better. But we gave it a try. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bump over the reef. We're literally about 500 yards away at this point. All oh, those other boats right there are probably fishing right on the reef. So I'm gonna run up over there real quick. I don't have any fish finder or any depth gauge or anything. So I'm just gonna kind of fish with the fleet. See if I can catch at least a sea bass. That's the goal. But uh, yeah, let's just get over there real quick. All right, 
right guys, Bucktail Gulp is definitely gonna be the way to go today. Got a uh, two ounce bucktail on here, I believe, from my last attempt. Not out on the, the jet ski, but my last attempt at ocean fluke fishing, which didn't pan out so well. All right guys, so we're gonna start off over here with a big old six inch gulp grub, going with the uh, fire tiger color on the bottom. And we've got room for a teaser up here, so whatever we grab out of the mystery box, hopefully a four inch something with a tail. And we're gonna go with a four inch white grub up top here on the teaser hook. So, at the very least, hopefully get some sea bass out here. Fluke is definitely the target, but without any bottom chart and very limited range, we'll, we'll have to do with what we got. So dropping down on the bottom here, probably around 45 feet or so. There we are, on the bottom. Oh, fish on already, are you kidding me? Must have dropped right down on his head. <laughs> First cast curse, could be. Probably a little sea robin. <laughs> there we go. A little sea robin right in the face. Don't need this guy right now, but there we go. First catch of the day. First fish on the new wave runner. Little sea robin, see you bud. I'm gonna try to catch something a little different on the second drop. Another sea robin, definitely. Might be the same one as before. Another baby, if we get any big ones, we'll definitely keep them, but this guy is micro. Gonna be a hot sea robin bite out here. Oh, there's a cow nose ray right there too. That is sick. A lot of times there's a Kobe on him, but I'm not seeing anything on that guy. Oh my God, not another sea robin, bro. Well, sea robin number three right there. Definitely gonna be a lot of these guys out here. Hopefully, that's not all I catch, but literally as soon as I hit the bottom, nothing else even has a chance to get over to the bait. Hmm. That's a big sea robin right there. Gonna keep this guy, just cause they seem to be pretty plentiful down there. I'll eat them for sure, but we might have to make this video a sea robin catching cook with all these freaking sea robins. Look at this guy. I mean, that's like the fourth one. That one's maybe 12 inches. So we'll throw them in the box. Really hope this is a fluke. There we go. First flatty of the day. A little 16 incher probably. Oh. There he is. First fluke of the day. Check that out. First fluke ever on the Wave Runner. See you, dude. Sweet. All right. Definitely gonna mark this spot. Mark it, Jimmy. Mark it. All right, now it's time for an 18 incher. See what we can work out out here. Oh, felt so good instead of a friggin' sea robin, tell you that.
That's a fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish, dude. That's a good fish right there. Holy dude. Moving the wave runner, guys, because I didn't like where I was sitting. And I don't know what we hooked, but it's giant. We just hooked a giant fish on the jet. It's a jumbo fluke. Jumbo fluke. That was a monster, monster flounder. Oh my God. Don't you dare come off. Oh no. Oh my God. I did not just catch that on a freaking jet ski, dude. Are you serious? Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Are you, there's no freaking way. Are you serious? I just caught that. Oh my God. I, oh Jesus. I, I'm speechless right now. Look at the size of this flounder. I mean, it's not a six pounder. Look at that fish. Look at that fluke. Look at that freaking fat freaking flounder. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my God. Look at that fish. I just caught this freaking flounder. So randomly in the middle of nowhere. It's a giant fluke, dude. That's a giant fluke. So for, for reference real quick, before I hold him up to the iPhone camera, the entire cork rip, including above right there, including this piece up here, is 19 inches. This guy is about three inches bigger than that. So he's probably a 22 inch flounder. I mean, it's not the biggest flounder I've ever caught, but to catch us off a jet ski for the first time ever? Are you serious, bro? Are you serious right now? Look at the size of this summer flounder, guys. 22, 23 inches estimated. I'm gonna bleed them and put them on ice real quick. I thought today I was gonna catch sea robins, maybe a sea bass. Look at this fluke. I'm literally like at a loss for words right now. I mean, it's not a monster. I, I am gonna reiterate that. I'm not freaking out because of its size. I mean, it's a good flounder. 23 inches is a good fish, but it's a standard ocean fish. But the fact that this is my first trip out here on my brand new, or on my wave runner, new to me, and I literally went out here with just a random plan. I wanted to go out, try to catch a sea bass or maybe a, a couple fluke. That was the goal. Didn't think it would actually happen. But the fact that I winged it so hard, I have nothing but Navionics app. So this is a testament to Navionics. I literally found a cluster of reefs at this wreck, a cluster of like little reef marks, whatever. I was like, hmm, that looks good. I fished one drift, marked the pin where I caught that 16 incher. And then the next drift, I'm like, well, this looks a little more, more densely, uh, this looks more densely structured over here. There's more wrecks in, in this area. So I drifted downstream, down drift of where I caught that other fish over a little bit to drift over the thing. And within 30 seconds of me dropping right where I wanted to, I was like, mm, I'd rather fish off the other side so I could get a video of me jig and that'd probably be pretty cool. And as I start the engine to turn around, this freaking fish just bends the rod in half. I set the hook and it just doesn't move. That's a light rod, light action rod. The sea robins are giving me a decent fight. But this thing, oh my God, I'm just speechless. I've had this fish in my hands for really six minutes. He is dead cold. I'm on cloud nine. I mean, my day is made. If we catch any more fish, I don't even need another keeper. But just look at the size of this fish. I'm a freaking jet ski. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. Thanks for watching guys. This is what it's all about. I'm The stoke is so real right now for me. Let him bleed out in this little mix of whatever. Hopefully he doesn't flop out. He shouldn't be able to. And to top that all off guys, I don't know if you saw, I'll play instant replay right here. Dare, come off. Oh no. As I'm going to land this fish and pull him in, I put so much pressure that I literally almost fell into the water. Imagine that, I fall off the friggin' jet ski. I mean, who, God, who knows what would have happened. I would have had a rod on my hand, a fish in the water, and I went that thing without any net, by the way. So, credit where credit is due. I'm gonna pat myself on the chest right here. <sighs> let's, let's bump up into that drift again. Oh my God, I'm like, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so freaking happy right now. Balloon time. There we go, nice catch. Nice catch there, Dill. Saving the environment. We we'll trade a rubber piece of uh, plastic for a fluke. 
Public service announcement, do not throw inflatables into the water. There we go. All right, well guys, that is gonna be a wrap for this video here. Unfortunately, no more keepers, but like I said, if I got that one, my day is made. He is sitting tranquil right now at the bottom of this mess. Water jug, gulp jug, pretzels, and an inflatable piece of trash I found out here. So I could stay out here a little longer and fish, obviously, but the wind's kicking up. I don't really want to be out here too much longer. I mean, I caught my fish. I saved some fish for next time. It's getting kind of hard to stay on the bottom now, even with a three ounce jig. So, so I'm not really going to waste my time. I'll stay out here too long. Probably going to go meet up my family at the beach. But uh, yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun today. I was super surprised at that 22-inch flounder. What a surreal moment out here on the jet ski. My first time ever fishing out here on the Wave Runner, and I land a 22, 23-inch flounder. i get an official measurement when I get back to the house. But yeah, mega flounder. Just literally blind dropping and jigging here out at one of New Jersey's inshore reefs. Rode out here to wreck inlet and survive that. So now we got to ride back in. If you guys don't see this video, well, you know what happened. But if you do, that means I made it back. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned. A couple more days left in summer, but fishing's not nearly over. Still got tons of gorgeous days out here. Beautiful day out on the water today, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Stay stoked. See you in the next one.